Hi everyone, this is AppChasers.com. Today coming at you with another tip for the Workflow app available for iPhone and iPad. Have you ever been studying the Watchtower and admiring the beautiful pictures that are contained within each article, but wondered exactly what the point of the picture was or what the exact meaning or teaching a point that the branch was trying to get across in the pictures. Well, some of the pictures do have uh, some descriptions underneath them. For example, most of the ones in the middle of the article have a nice description that shows what's happening in the picture, but usually our opening picture does not have a description. So if you'd like to comment on that picture during the Watchtower study at the Kingdom Hall, uh, you want to make sure that you have the meaning of that picture correct. So this workflow actually goes out and uh, will display the built-in picture descriptions that are found in the HTML code of each Watchtower article. Yes, that's right. Every picture in the Watchtower study articles actually does have a description, but it's buried in the HTML code. So in able to see that, or in, it, in order to see that, uh, we're going to use this workflow. And I'll show you how it works right now, and then also where to go and get that workflow that we've pre-built to do this. So once you find an article on uh, the Watchtower Online Library, wol.jw.org, um, you're going to want to you know navigate to that article, and then what you want to do is tap on the Share button. Now this is after you have Workflow, that app installed on your iPhone or iPad, and you've installed this specific Workflow into the app. So I'll just show you what this does so you know um, if you'd like to download this or not. Uh, tap on the Share button, and then we're going to tap Run Workflow. That's going to bring up our list of available workflows. These are the ones that I have in my copy of Workflow or this app on my iPad, but yours will look different. However, after you download this specific workflow called JW Photo Descriptions, you see it right here, after you download that, that'll be available as well. So I'll tap on that and I'll show you what it's going to do here. So it's going to go through the article HTML, it's going to find the images, it's going to download each of those images along with the description and then merge them together. So now every image uh, has this description. For example, here we see it says, as Yodia and Sintiki associate with others in the congregation, they glare angrily at one another. Now that is talked about in the first couple paragraphs of this article, but it's nice to have that description right there so we know what's happening. Also for the second picture here, it says a construction volunteer works on a project. That's a little bit different than what's described in the article, or just a different way of saying the same thing. Now, after it shows you this preview, you'll tap Done in the upper left-hand corner, and now it's going to ask you what you would like to do with this particular PDF that it's created. Would you like to share the file, save the file, or do nothing? If we tap on Share File, it's going to pull up our... Uh, share feature of using a message to send this to someone or we could email it to someone. So you can tap on either one of those. It'll automatically uh, embed this PDF into either one of those methods of sharing. Now, if you want to do the other uh, method and that is saving, I'll show you what that does. Okay, here we are back at that option menu. Uh, if you do tap on save file, I'll show you what it's going to do here. Tap on save, and it's going to bring up an open in dialog uh, that's going to ask you what app you want to save this PDF to. So here's the list of my apps that I have installed on my iPad. You'll have a different list because you have different apps installed than I do. But I like to use Documents by Readle. So here that is, ready to go. We'll tap that one. It's going to open Documents automatically, and then it's going to import that file. And it'll save it there for offline use. So if we want to uh, read it at a later time, we don't need internet to do that. So that's how to use this um, workflow in order to uh, see what the descriptions of the Watchtower articles are. And it brings you into a nice formatted PDF that you can share with anyone else that you'd like. 
So I'll show you where to get this workflow. First of all, uh, in the App Store, this is the app that you want. It's called Workflow. So you just type that into the search. Uh, once you have that installed on your iPhone or your iPad, then you can go over to uh, App Chasers. I'm going to go there now. And then we have a uh, dedicated uh, article on App Chasers for this specific process. And I'm going to put a link right below this video. So take a look at that link. You can download it for free. So here's the, uh, once you get to that article, here's the workflow that you want to download this nice orange button here. We'll tap on that. And it shows us the workflow. We'll say get workflow on the left hand side. And it says open in workflow. We'll hit open and allow you to install it right into the workflow app. Thanks for watching AppChasers.com. If you have any um, questions or suggestions about this particular video, uh, just leave them in the comments below.